Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I have the Record Power AC400 here and it's what I use to clean the air in my workshop. However, it's gone wrong. It started off by not switching off, but it would switch on and then very quickly it just wouldn't turn on. So I contacted Record Power and Record Power have sent me some instructions and a replacement part. So today, I'm going to show you how I fit them. Record Power did offer to repair this directly, and I think that would have involved me sending it away to them, then making the repair and sending it back. Instead, I've opted to do it myself. So they've sent me the instructions. It's only one sheet, there's not a lot to it, and the replacement part. So the first thing we do is take it out of its packaging. So here's the replacement part. So new mains lead, new control panel. So let's get it open and get it replaced. To open up your air filter, you'll see that there are four screws across the top, two down the side, and that's repeated on the other two sides as well. So I'll get them all undone, get the front off, and we can look at the internals. Just before I take the front off, I should point out that this has been disconnected from the mains. If you're going to do something like this, please be safe. So that's all the screws out, and they should now come out, and then you can see we've got the motor housing and the control panel. Now, there is an earth lead here that connects the two together, so we haven't got a lot of space to work with at the moment. So we can either undo the screw here and remove the cable from that end, but we've also got one on the motor, or we can just unscrew it here where there's just a single bolt, and I'm gonna do that. And I'm thinking it's probably an eight mil, which it is. Just loosen that nut off. first one out so that's the first one's the one off the motor the second one is the one from the housing from the outer case the instructions aren't overly clear on the next stage they talk about removing the PCB from the control panel board whereas we've got the complete replacement part here so what you want to do is disconnect the motor, which is with this uh, colored red, black, red and white clip at the back here. And then we can undo these four screws and remove the panel. So with the last screw removed, I can now replace or remove the whole panel. So we can take the new one, and this has got some screws on it. So I'm just gonna remove those. Of course, we're not gonna throw them away. You never know when they might come in handy. Now the new panel comes with the two earth leads for the motor and for the housing. And because I've left those, I'm gonna just undo the bolt this end and remove them. Now making sure not to trap any wires and making sure that the control pine is finishing around the correct way, we can pop that in. Then it's just a case of screwing it back in. Now I would recommend just to do them up loosely with your fingers to start with, go around, get them all lined up and then go back and tighten them all up. So next thing you want to do is reattach the power for the motor and you'll notice that there's a little tab at the top and you need to make sure that stays at the top when you plug it in and it'll just clip into place. So now we need to reattach the earth cables. So I'm going to start with the motor one. 
And then there's the one from the case. So now it's just a case of replacing the motor and the front panel back on. And the same as before, I would go around and just loosely put them in place. Because as you can see, it moves about. So don't tighten them up too much. And then go back and tighten them up afterwards. So that's it reassembled. All we want to do now is test that it works. So let's plug it in and find out. And there we go, all repaired. So there you go. If you need to replace the PCB in your record power air filter, now you know how to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.